2010, um, workers here agreed uh, on a temporary arrangement with management to get them over a, a short-term financial difficulty, that they would take a cut in pay and conditions on the strict understanding that those conditions would, would be restored in October 2011. The company reneged on that agreement. We took them to an employment tribunal, we won. The company um, was found to be breaking the law and, um, by breaching that agreement. So then in a very vicious and hostile act, Green Corps then decided that they would unilaterally change terms and conditions um, through amending the contracts of employment. Um, they refused to negotiate meaningfully with our members. They won't talk to Unite. So after the employment tribunal found in our favour and found that the company had broken the law by, by not restoring the terms and conditions, in a very vicious act, they then unilaterally changed the contracts of employment to permanently embed uh, poverty pay on this site. We've taken the decision to do the strike action for the simple reason Green Corps have not given us a pay rise for three years, which we agreed to, to help the company out. And secondly, we gave our terms and conditions up to help the company out. Uh, it was a signed contract to say that they would give us it back. They've reneged on that. They've even lost a tribunal case to say that they should have paid us our terms and conditions back. And they've just, they've just reneged on it. They're just making it span it out and we're still waiting for our money that's owing to us. Salaried staff have all had a pay rise for the last three years. Uh, they don't lose any bank holidays, Christmases. Um, but we do, we have to come into work. We, we just want back what they told us, they was give them back, give us back, which is our terms and conditions. We want the choice to whether we work a Good Friday, a Boxing Day, a Bank Holiday Day. They've taken that choice away. Plus, we're working for flat rate now, where we used to get time and a half or double time for a Sunday. We're, not, we're, we're all working for single rate pay. Now, our membership has been slowly building up ever since we've decided to, to fight back and support our members in fighting back here. We've gone from 300 to 500 members. They've never been militant. They've never taken any form of industrial action. But enough is enough, which is why we've had such a magnificent turnout today. Uh, they want the management to negotiate with us about reinstating fair terms conditions of employment. They get no overtime premium, they get no shift premium other than a small premium for night shift workers. They get nothing for working bank holidays. There's all kinds of ways in which their terms conditions have been reduced and attacked uh, by this management. And this is at the same time as the managers on this site here have given themselves pay rises of up to 11%, which is really, um, I think, showing the difference between the way in which the management are prepared to behave, yet at the same time um, expecting our members to live in permanent poverty. And also yesterday at the AGM of Green Corps in Dublin, Chief Executive Patrick Coveney uh, was successful in getting his bonus package made even bigger than it already is. And this is a man who earned a half, one and a half million pounds last year. So what is your message to Patrick? Well, it's get your management to come round the table and talk to us because Unite isn't going to leave our members here on their own. We're going to make sure that we provide the leadership they need to escalate this dispute, if that's what we have to do, and to take it to the supermarkets. The supermarkets have got an obligation to play a role in this as well. Um, they have a code of practice called the Ethical Trading Initiative Base Code, which all their suppliers have to abide by, and that sets out minimum terms and conditions for workers. Green Corps here are in breach of those terms and conditions and it's essential that supermarkets recognise that they should put pressure on their suppliers to treat their workers fairly and decently.